Okay, uh, good news. So I did a little Google research, always a good thing. Found a Larry Miller Jeep dealership. It's like seven minutes away. They have an express lane, so I don't need an appointment. Uh, it's about an hour wait for an LOF, and that will save us about two hours in driving today. Or so, uh, we're gonna go that route, uh, get a coffee, just hang out at the dealership, probably look at some rigs, and then we'll get back on the road. All right, things were coming together a little too nicely. So uh, turns out we're an hour in, they hadn't started on our LOF yet. I went back to check on it. She said another 45 minutes. So we decided to take that opportunity to make some lunches. Uh, so we have some snacks for the road. That way when, as soon as they're done, we can just hook up, go. We don't have to stop, try to make up that hour. I thought we were gonna save an hour. Actually, I thought we were saving two hours of driving by doing the LOF here in town. Turns out it's gonna end up washing out, so. Finally on the road, it is 12.30 right now. Uh, Nav says it's a four hour drive, uh, three hours and 56 minutes to Haley, Idaho, to Aunt Marshall's house. Uh, on a curious, funny note, uh, I was talking to the service advisors about the 4xe, uh, they both said that car was a joke, uh, and that it was a total waste of money, and every one they sell gets sold back within 30 days. I still have mine. Well, I know, but they said every one that they sell there, people get upset that there's only a 30 mile EV range. Which to me is stupid because it's publicized that it's a 25 mile range. You know what it is going in if you do any research. Uh, but I think people are just getting caught up in the moment because they can buy a PHEV and then they, they do their research after the fact. Uh, now I, I've never done it that way. So today, uh, the plan is to go up have breakfast with my aunt and uncle, and then the kids are gonna go snowboarding with them, and Christy and I are gonna kinda of bum around town, check out uh, the Sun Valley area. So, pretty cool stuff. Uh, you know, this is really my favorite part of the, the day. Um, it's just me, I'm the only one up. Uh, it's nice and quiet, and I'm just kinda of organizing gear, getting things sorted out and ready for the trip, so. Uh, you can imagine after a week on the road, things are kind of out of place, uh, so just trying to put things back where they belong for the final push home. You sleep okay? Yeah. What do you think of this Airbnb? It's cool. Mm, the animals are really cute. Alright, what do you got planned for today? Snowboarding. Okay, you gonna watch me roll down the stairs? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All 
All right, it's lunchtime. We're on the chairlift riding up. Ooh, it's weird riding in street clothes with no board. <laughs> so, all right, we're riding up top. Uh, gonna meet up with everybody for some lunch. I guess it's taco, it's not Tuesday, but it's taco day up here. So, <laughs> anyhow, uh, yeah, like I said, it's kind of different riding the chair without your boots and your gear. Abby's driving along a blue ribbon trout stream. How does it feel? Great. For those of you at home, I'm trying not to say where we're at, but this is a Hemingway favorite. Hey, good morning. Uh, it is Sunday. It is the day that uh, I don't think any of us have been waiting for. Uh, we are heading home today. You see behind me, this is the little petting zoo. There's a couple of, uh, what are those, sheep? Uh, goats a couple of a goats donkey. and a donkey. Donkey's Gus. Uh, we're not sure what the goats' names is. No, the, the, aren't the goats Gus and Myra? I don't know. So anyways, uh, we're all packed up. We're getting ready to go. I'll do a quick walk through the, uh, through the Airbnb for you. I know it's kind of backwards. We usually do that when we get here. but So we're going to get on the road. Uh, we're a little behind, but it's not a big deal. So we've got about nine hours to go to get home. <laughs> 